G350 and the G800. The dream of every G-Class fanboy. Here you see the white body way more clear. Imagine this here is the base for this. Would you drive a G-Class fast or slow? This is you, I guess, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Today I will be comparing a cheap version of the G-Class with probably one of the most expensive ones. And in today's video I will be doing a full walk around showing you both exteriors. Afterwards we will be jumping inside and comparing both interiors. And last but not least we will be giving you a sound check of our G350 and the G800. Maybe also finish it off with a drive. So let's get right into it. Let me talk about both cars in specific on the right hand side starting with the Brabus here we have the car from Brabus CEO Mr. Brabus Konstantin Buschmann himself the G800 his daily driver full finished in black a lot a lot of Brabus additional parts 800 brake horsepower great sound we'll show you later on on the left hand side we have our innocent looking and beautiful G350 this is our press test car provided by mercedes-benz i'm not even sure if this car has an amg line we have 18 inch winter ties on that full finished in brilliant blue all in all looking very decent so let's just get right into it and let's start with the walk around and the front of both cars so let's start with our G350 here. As I already mentioned, I'm not really even sure if this car has an AMG line. We have the very decent looking G350 front grille, the three horizontal lines, the 3D Mercedes-Benz star emblem, the multi-beam LED headlights, the non-night package ones, all in all, brilliant blue looks very, very nice on this car, but let's have a look at the Brabos. Guys, this thing is the pinnacle the dream of every g-class fanboy oof look at the front guys this car is based on the g63 and brabos has given it a lot of touches a lot of additional carbon fiber parts and some extra power we have 800 brake horsepower the normal stock g63 got 585 We'll definitely listen to the sound afterwards. Let's just talk about the front. We have the night package, the night package headlights, the so-called AMG Panamericana grille. We have some red additional details here. This is the Black Ops edition, the carbon fiber grille frame looking very, very hot. Brabos, emblems everywhere. The bonnet extension, this thing is brutal. Guys, look at this, full finished in carbon fiber and also the lights on top of the car, even the indicators are tinted on that i love the way this looks so which one would you choose the g350 or the g800 now let's go ahead and start talking about the side i mean the wheelbase is actually the same on both cars and as i already mentioned this thing is finished in brilliant blue i love this color we have them ugly looking winter tires on 18 inches but still looking very good on a g-wagon all in all we also have the rear windows tinted but now let's have a look on this guys the g brabus we have the brabus specific white body kit mounted on that g-wagon as well and look at the wheels guys here we have the 23 inches monoblock r platinum edition full finished in black with the black brake calipers red details hot this is super hot love the way this looks also closer look on the white body kit which makes this car look so much more brutal on the side we have some additional carbon fiber parts which i love the brabus emblems b8 biturbo 800 black ops edition also with the light on the side and something i love about this the door handles guys these are full finished in carbon fiber normally on the stock g they are full finished in plastic but yeah these look great so looking at the rear you can instantly see the white body on the left hand side brabus you see that it looks way more brutal 
and on the right hand side the stock g-wagon you see that especially on the side now let's concentrate on the bravos on the left hand side as i already mentioned we have the bravos white body kit on that one which makes it look so much more brutal we have the spare tire cover on the back full finished in carbon fiber we also have the handle here finished in carbon fiber with the bravos badging guys look at this here you see the white body way more clear on the right hand side our g-wagon you see it's not that wide this is the base g the spare tire cover is finished in uh, chrome you also have the option to make it full finished in blue from the factory and all in all guys what do you say which one would you choose just looking at the rear but now it's time to concentrate on the interior of both cars we will be starting with our g350 on the right hand side guys here we have the non-amg light interior we have the extra leather interior you see that with the nice rising diamond stitching full finished in black we have the wooden trim on the center console on the dash as well everything finished in leather all in all very very decent look but guys let's compare this with this wow let me just jump inside to give you a closer look guys look at this this is so beautiful we have every single part redone and refined by bravos look even the handles here on top these are finished in carbon fiber normally these are plastic um, we have the seats bravos fine leather works on this black leather finish with the red details gorgeous bravos double b as well the steering wheel full leather finish this is actually leather like this feels like leather very nice quality on these center console this piano part is finished in carbon fiber which i love every single part is in leather or in carbon fiber this one is also limited to 10 pieces only as this is the black opposite edition this is gorgeous the floor mats just look at these bravos floor mats with the nice leather and stitching work the braking gas pedal also by bravos beautiful guys imagine this here is the base for this which one would you choose the g350 or the g800 interior i'm honest but the g800 interior is out of this world i love this now it's time for something you've all been waiting for it's time for a sound check we will be starting with the bravos g800 first let's just start the ignition the car is set into sport plus as you see which automatically opens up the exhaust valves as well let's just start up this beast enjoy the bravo symphony windows for you guys now listen to this like this sound beautiful Brabus V8 with the Brabus exhaust mounted this is beautiful let's go ahead and start up the G350 don't expect uh, any sound or else but still so we can have a comparison starting up the car very very silent engine here we have the six cylinder diesel engine well i mean i didn't expect anything but yeah just to compare it let's just get back to the bravos since you guys enjoyed it it's time for another sound check with the bravos g800 now from the outside let's go But now, let's just go out for a drive. So bye bye G350, it's time for G800.
We are now inside the G350. We'll be also demonstrating the drive inside this car. Um, let's just start up the car. I mean, in total, we have 286 brake horsepower, six cylinder. Don't expect a fast car here. It also feels very wrong to drive a G fast because this car is not meant to be driven fast, to be honest. Uh, a G is, is an off-roader, is a, a dominant car. And I mean, I actually love to drive the 350 because this is actually how you have to drive a G. It's slow and comfortable. It's also a very quiet engine, not as loud as the Bravos uh, eight cylinder. But after jumping inside this car, you instantly feel like there's performance missing. But as I mentioned, it's, it's not needed for a G-Wagon. What do you guys say? Would you drive a G-Class fast or slow? Do you need an AMG or a Brabus version or is a 350 already enough? Let's just get back to our Brabus. So this is you, I guess, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. Guy, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. How do you guys like it? The sound, the drive, the exterior? Leave it all in the comment section below. I mean, the winner is clear. It's definitely the G800 Brabus. I didn't expect another result, but as a daily driver, I have to be honest, the G350 is a great alternative. 10 liters, 900 kilometers of drive. Enjoy the pure driving pleasure but i guess with the g800 you have to refill it way more often it's very expensive in keeping it but i guess that's not a problem for a brabos owner which car you would like to see next leave it all in the comment section below looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day i will be back